Okay, yellow and violet, <clears throat> excuse me, that looks like this. I'm going to show you how to cure this. So, rip it out, take the root ball off, pause it, <laughs> um, take off a whole bunch of the bottom leaves. And don't keep these to, to root. There's no point. They're old leaves and they'll take forever and they probably wouldn't root properly anyway. So take them all off. Not all, but a good portion of them. Okay. Um, take a nice clean knife. I have disinfected this one with hydrogen peroxide and alcohol and then cleaned it off with hot water. <coughs> Cut them up. Throw it away. Take more of these leaves off. Fill a pot. <clears throat> with African violet food. Pop it in, pat it down so that it nice and let me if I can I don't think I can show. You know, sorry, hold on. Pat it all down with soil, pack it down as make it nice and sturdy. If you get any uh, soil on the leaves, take a soft toothbrush and just wipe it. Wipe it off. Give it a little drink, pop it into a Ziploc bag labeled with the date on the other side. Give it a little blow inside the bag. <laughs> um, do it up, leave it for a month. I have done this and I did have success. So we'll check back in a month on this one. There we go. Now I have been told that the reasons you should blow into the bag is because the carbon dioxide that you breathe out, it helps the plant uh, root. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> but there's the one that I did before. <clears throat> I did this one the end of April, I think. And it's it's uh, taking hold. It looks healthy enough. We'll see if it flowers. So there we go. <laughs> African violet fixing. <laughs>